But what's up guys? Bad Bass and Adventures here and guys Decker is back open so I'm coming back at you with the weekly Decker reports. Um, for you that are not subscribers, guys that are new watching this video, I am Bad Bass and Adventures. I fish Decker Lake weekly and try to put out Decker Lake reports weekly. You can mimic, hopefully mimic what you see in my videos and take them out to the water and catch yourself some fish at the one and only Decker Lake. So uh, on this episode, the game warden, okay, we get busted by the game warden um, and we catch a shit ton of fish. So you guys are going to want to check this out. Like I said, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I really appreciate it. We're almost to 500 subs, guys. Almost. So sit back, enjoy this tasty long episode of us whacking some bass. Oh, they're bass. They're shad. It's shad. That's exactly what it is, Dad. They're after shad. Yeah, I can see the shad stuck on top of the water. I gotta tie on a different frog. Here we go. Oh, I ran out of room. He was about to eat it. I have to change frogs, aren't I? Oh my god. Oh look, there. That was one uh, shad on top. Of yeah, the lily pads. You see them? Huh? You see the shads on the lily pads? Yeah, it was on top of the lily. That's what I was talking about. That one. Come on, take it, you motherfucker. Oh. Oh my god, we're in the perfect spot. If I could just get this fucking... I need to switch frogs, because this frog is not floating. Man, I need to fucking put a different fucking frog on. This one's not fucking floating. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? I know. They're everywhere. Alright, I gotta change... I gotta change baits. This frog is not working. I don't. It's not floating. I gotta get one that'll never float. Done broke it. Get it, Dad. Right there. Right there. Oh my God. Right here behind the boat. They're everywhere. Just gotta find the right thing for them to hit. This is the right thing. You're, oh, look at that one. you're not gonna get them any other way. Well, if we stay here long enough, they'll fucking jump in the boat. You know? Yeah, now I got a frog that floats. It's game on now. See? Told you. I got a huge in death. No, I'm gonna flip him. Oh! That's a nice one. God damn! Let's go! Let's fucking go! God damn, that's a nice one. Huh? Told you I just need a frog that'll float. Ooh, that's like a four. No, it's like a three. Three and a half. I'd weigh it. That's nah. a nice fish right there, buddy. I don't care. It's a small one, dude. Let's keep going. You keep going, Dad. Keep casting. <sighs> There's the first fish of the day. Ow. Oh, damn, you almost Ow. Right yeah, the fucking braid was on my. What the fuck happened? I broke this. I had to stand up for this. I put my knee on down on my fucking hook and it fucking hurt. Dude, I just broke this fucking frog in one shot. Son of a bitch, dude. Look at that. Broke it. You broke it. Oh yeah. It took two seconds. That was a nice one. I'm telling you. Yeah. Dude, just keep casting, Dad. I promise you'll get one. Got to dig this braid out. Oh, I think my frog just got eaten when I backlash. Oh, dude, I just. See, they're busting over there. Old toy motor could have never made it through this shit either. It's just cutting through it. Like legitimately cutting it. I'm telling you right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, see we're just in the wrong spot. 
number three. It's fat too, but he's little. Yeah, well, that's the littlest one we've caught so far. Damn it, dude, they're breaking all my frogs, these fucking dicks. Did you break the frog dick? Yeah, I've broken like all my frogs already today. That's okay. And it's a little one. I would gladly break frogs every day to fish here. There you go, number three. Let's see if we can fix this. Probably not. <laughs> Braid was dug in. Boy, I smashed him. Mm-hmm. I bumped him. I gave him the bump and dump, dude. Yeah. Well, I seen you come up and hit at it the first time, and then... And then he come back and got it again. You know? Uh-huh. Oh yeah. That's when you're getting blood on the side of the boat, you know you're back at Decker. Yeah. Pound fish to face the frog. There we go, got him. Yes. Oh dude, that's good fish. Oh, oh what was that? Bass or wiper? That's a bass. Big in, Dad. Damn it. Big in. Oh yeah, I know. Well that's why I'm thinking we're gonna move here in like five minutes too, because I wanna make sure we have time to catch a couple more topwater fish up front. Cause that grass is thick up there and that'll work great in the grass swimming through the grass yeah i like i, like, I love the action on me too i have one tied up too on one of my rods a fluke too because i i just they it imitates a bait fish too good yeah got one yep you do oh good and keep this keep it keep it tight dad just keep it tight there you go dad just keep it tight yep keep that rod tip up and just keep grinding on his ass Good job, Dad. That's a good one. That's a pretty good size one. Size. I know. God damn. Big enough that I can't. I know. Okay. Now take it easy. Take it easy. You got him. He's hooked. Just don't break off. You know what I mean? Yeah, because he's a pretty good size one. You might want to back your drag off a little bit, Dad. You what? You might want to back that drag off a little bit. He's... Oh, my God. Dude, this is a big fish. <gasps> yeah, it is. Okay, just play him, Dad. You've got him hooked, hooked now. You coming? Oh yeah, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. A decent one. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Hell On the yeah. fluke. Ouch, motherfucker. The bio baits fluke. Quit biting me, motherfucker. Look at him busting. I know they're all. Nice. Here, so. That's a good one. That's a two and a half, three pounder. Yeah, about two and a half. Bigger. The first one you caught? Yeah. Yeah, it was bigger than that one. But the second one, the one you lost. Oh, was the one I lost. Dude. Giant. But guys, we're back at our favorite spot. Oh, thank you. Let him go, Dad. Oh, Woo! Let that motherfucker go. It's been a while since I've caught some fish. <laughs> yeah, it has. Been. We're on them though this morning, frogging and fluking. He tore that motherfucker up, boy. Yeah. See, these are cool baits. You want to know why? This is called bio baits for one. You see how it's 3D printed on the side? It looks like a fucking shad. Like, yeah. Not just like a, a color. But on top of that, this is made out of 100% plant and fish material. There's no plastic in this. Wow. And it's naturally scented because they use fish guts and they grind it up in there. So if you leave it out in the sun, if it gets dry, you leave it out in the sun a little bit and the oils will come out of it again. Oh wow. They're some of the coolest baits ever. I hadn't been working it right. Dude, there's a rhythm. Once you get that right rhythm, it's on. Same with the frog. It's all in the rhythm, dude. And it's 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 fish they're particular. They're different. They're all fucking different. It is a beautiful goddamn day whether you get the fish or not. It is a good day. Bet you guys thought I was going to catch a frogfish right there. While I was editing that, I thought I was too. I mean, look how good that spot looks. There's like that little that little ledge right there and the shade and there's a little pocket. But on the reel, get ready for some of the shittiest um, quality uh, wind noise. It's about to get real rough. The only reason we were not even hearing any of that wind noise is because we were on the only protected side on the whole lake. Um while we were running down that one side, but um, just get ready for some nasty wind noise. <laughs>
son of a bitch. They're eating the blades. They're fucking eating the blades, dude. Dude, this trolling motor is making it where we're literally able to fish. They're munching bait up shallow. Yeah, right here on this corner, right back in here. Got it. Yep. Good. Big Biggin, biggin. Spot lock. I mean, I had him, had him, but the way he, I see, I seen him. I said, do you see that shad over there? And I threw it at the shad and it was sinking down and I was hopping it. And the motherfucker smoked. Let's see what these actually weigh. And hey, look yeah, at us. How are we sitting? How are we, guys, are you wondering how are we sitting right here in the 30 mile per hour winds? Thank you, robot trolling motor. Let's see what this guy weighs. About that this one's fat still. Yeah. It's big. I think the ones we got before were a little bigger. But about two, four. Two, three. <laughs> Wind is ripping right now. We're in like 20 mile per hour winds, guys. And we're able to sit here in this little light aluminum boat, Trailer Park Mermaid, catching the damn Decker specials out here. Uh, I think we'll sit here for a second. <laughs> Dude, this is so convenient because right now we would have already been in the bushes oh. and passed them because we would have gotten pushed into them so far. Yeah. I guarantee that. Dude, I was literally bouncing this thing on the bottom. <laughs> I need to go through my wallet. You bought one last May, but you didn't buy it for the year. You only buy it, bought it for the season, so it expired in August. Yeah, the one he bought. Is that what happened? Oh. So it's only good from May until August. If he'd have bought the one year, that's all we usually get. Uh, I mean, you've seen he has all the other ones. Good. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what happened. Must have clicked the wrong thing so or something. Is that this one right here? Yeah, that's this one right here. Oh. That's the last one we showed that you had. Oh man, so you all been fishing every other day since May <laughs> with no license. Come yeah, on. I didn't know that. Well, I, I assume that when we bought it, I bought the because I. You see, he has all the other ones. I yeah. buy them for him. I buy them all. I make yeah. sure we stay legal. Well, can you buy another one right now on your phone? Oh, yeah. All right. I'll do it right now. Yes, sir. Tell you what, I'm going to write up a warning. And it should only take you about five minutes. Uh, less okay. than that. Thank you all so right. much. All right, I bought it. All right, now the fish might be fired up again. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. All right, guys. Now I've got an interesting title for the video. Yeah. First day back at uh, Decker Lake and Game Warden. What? What y'all just witnessed <laughs> was I got pulled up on by the game warden. I have all my stuff and um, I always buy my dad's uh, fishing license. Well, somehow I managed to buy the only half a year for some freaking reason. Probably one morning at the boat ramp and I realized his license was expired and I was like, oh shit, you know, I'm going to buy one real quick and somehow only purchased the uh, half a year for him. So that's what's happened. Um, those game wardens were really nice. Um, let my dad off with a warning. No harm, no foul. Um, yeah, it was, they're, they're pretty cool. They were pretty cool. Now, let's get back to fishing. Thanks man, for saving my ass. The game warden's coming for y'all's ass next! <laughs> <laughs> Game Warden's coming, run!
we're gonna uh we'll take and do a little bit of weight we're gonna set you up with a texas rig and me a texas rig and we're gonna flip in those pads where all those fish were yeah because they're still in there but we're just gonna flip in there dangle it around and then reel okay. it back and then flip it again and got a good one in the pad stems oh it's that's it might be the best one spot walk us oh dude he just fucking came off what's that one weigh it's about the same in the stems like I said might be the business flipping, flipping in the pad stems because it creates a good shade line Just curious. two and a half two nine two, two eight nine. another one no, yes another one bites the dust and another one down and another one down where's my fucking phone donkey Come on. we flipping some pad stems Y'all are going to want to check this episode out. Me and uh, Old Man just had a encounter with the game warden. Dude. First, fl second flip, Dad. I'm just letting it fall in, that, in those holes, drop down all the way, not even doing anything and waiting until it swims off and then fucking whacking them. That was a nice one, son. I know, dude, I told you flipping pads, dude. They're all about the same size. This one's smaller, yeah, but fatter, but smaller, like yeah, lengthwise. Still, in a tournament, that would be a nice fish. 15 incher, maybe. Another one. We're on that pad game, flipping pads. What's up, Robot Motor? Keeping us in the fucking... Keeping us in the same place? Let's go, guys. Y'all gonna want to tune in. This is gonna be a great, great episode. Later, buddy. <laughs> I smacked him. I couldn't catch up with him, dude. It's because once they start swimming with it and you're not using braid, it starts. they start swimming in and out of these stems, you know? Yeah, it's gonna tangle with them. Exactly. All right, guys. If you want to, oh well. If you want a tip from me about flipping and pitching, what I'm looking for, because right now, if you look, there's just thousands of pads in front of us. Thousands. I'm looking for literally the shade spots in them. Like if there's a big clump, you'll see like a darker spot in the middle of them. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go in the middle of those whole clumps of pads because they'll come together in a group of like 20 or 30 of them down at the bottom of the root. And that's where these dudes have been sitting. And here's a Decker tip, just, or at least for me, is when I flip into spots like that, these fish for being so aggressive, don't like the shaky, 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 and then pull it out. They literally want, I let it sit, fall in there, reel in, don't even catch my slack, and then pick my slack up a little bit. Um, they're not about the shaky, shaky. They just want it in there. You'll feel them just take off with it, give them hell. That's my uh, pecker tip of the day for fishing the pad stems. We ain't gonna have much uh, time left to fish these stems this way without having to switch up to braid and pegging everything out because it's getting, it's already thick. Another two or three days, another week, this thing will be just completely covered. Yep, you won't be able to get in here with the head. Uh, frog, yeah. That's about it. Well, you could put a really heavy weight on and punch all this shit, too, once it gets thick. <laughs> we'll go get it. Don't break it off. Yeah, we're going to get you set up with braid. There's another one. And another one. And look at its tail. Look back there and spawn. Oh my god, that is the worst spawned fish I've ever seen accident. Look at that. 
Look at that nastiness. I know, I've seen that all four things. <laughs> Flipping the pads, stay tuned. This one's got some crazy spawn wounds. Stay tuned for the episode, guys. It's going to be a good one. I think they like it. I think they like it, old man. Got one. Yeah. Yep. He's running around. Oh! He come off right there. Oh. God damn, that's how many now? And they're swiping at it. There's like a school of them out here or something. Yeah. But where we were at, we were catching all the big ones. Yeah. Good one, good one, good one, good one. Good one, get the net dead, please. Oh my God. Yeah, but he, he was only a three pounder. It was only a three pounder. I know. Son of a bitch, man, that's three or four in a row. There's a school of them out here. Did y'all enjoy that? Is that what y'all wanted to see? I know that's what I needed. I needed Decker to be open. And I needed to catch a couple frogfish. And I needed just to, you know, set the hook on some good fish. Um, so y'all get ready. I have another episode coming at y'all shortly. Um, me and uh, Cam from Cottonmouth Bass. So guys, be ready for that. That's coming soon. Um, I really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. If you're not right now, for all the people who are subscribed right now, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next episode. Wow!